Well, hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Life of Wonders. This is Polo, and I love making videos of dolls, toys, and Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, then you already know what to do. So today we're going to be covering the detailed review of this beautiful Defa Lucy Extra Series doll, which is in fact my very first from this series. And the reason is that I wasn't as attracted to these dolls as I was. Um, towards those that came inspired by the look series or the in-between anime take on Defa Lucy but I decided to give it a go and boy am I pleased with it in fact I think I will be trying some more and at this time there is a second series popping up um, on different platforms such as Shein and Temu uh, with different designs. I mean, there's a second series of these extra dolls and I'm very much hooked by them as well as, um, yeah, very much looking forward to see um, what Defa has to offer for new designs. So anyway, the reason she's out of the box is because the box came completely busted and so I thought all right I'll take her out of the box myself and then I'll try to save as much as I can and so basically I just saved the artwork pieces from the back and the front so this is the artwork that we could find on the front of the box the box by the way had that very similar uh, Barbie extra shape um, even though all of the boxes from this series are the very same and for the Barbie extra I think it changed ever so slightly for like the sticker part or something but anyway this is like um, very very similar and one thing I love is the you know um, the promotion here in which it says fashion beauty styling pieces super pet <laughs> Anyway, the pet, we'll talk about it in a minute. It was supposed to come with a sweater and I think that might have made it look so much cuter, but in fact we got this <laughs> angry face uh, pet, which by the way, I mean it's the same sort of like quality and material of those that came with Barbie. It's just that I mean, that face <laughs> isn't supposed to be kawaii at all. I think it's um, but at the same time, it's very hilarious. So anyway, um, so that's that. Here we have our girl. Um, and now I'll give you a tour through the different uh, artwork pieces from the different dolls that are part of this first series. So we have this one over here that might be the most popular, I think. Quite possibly because she's got the most elegant fashion pieces and she also comes with a poppy face and um, yeah, that seems to be a win. Although the reason I haven't collected her yet is because I don't quite like the combination of her colors that she comes with. But in, I don't know. I don't know. I might still get her because of the fashion pieces. And let's see. And then she comes with a chicken as a pet. And the chicken has glasses. And the chicken comes inside of a translucent red egg that opens. I mean, that's so creative, to say the least, <laughs> anyway. Uh, and then right here we have our girl. Um, super cool, I think it's translated very well into a doll form. The only thing they've probably missed are those uh, socks that apparently were having the same text that we'll find on her shirt. Now, I have to say that this doll as Brittany comes with the poppy face, but as Defa Lucy comes with this other face, which I actually love. This is the face sculpt that came with the brunette bob as part of the series of the look series. And I'm very happy to have this sculpt with blonde hair. And the hair is super cool. We'll just discover it in a second. Then we have the one with the high pony and those pieces that I also love. Um, this one over here, um, that might be my next one. I don't know. I love those platform shoes, even though they're just the one single solid color in reality and the high socks and the skirt is quite possibly my favorite thing but i also like that jacket even though i'm not a huge orange uh person but um yeah and the pet might be my favorite even though i'm obsessed with that one anyway um there's this other one that probably feels the most extra but then I don't know if I could use those fashion pieces as much as I as I wanted. Um, so anyway, and then we have this one over here, which I'm also 
very much in love now that I've seen this one. So, yeah, everything and anything can happen from now on. So let's get into the details of the doll. Now, when it comes to the hair, wow, this is the softest I've touched so far from any other Defa Lucy doll. And it's similar to that one with the braid, but obviously this one comes like loose and I think it's softer, I don't know. It, it is not saran, it's nylon. And um, another sort of like, um, you know tip that is saying to us that this is nylon is the sheer sparkly finish to it which is something i very much appreciate because saran can be so much more matte in finish and this has like natural without having um what is the word um without having tinsel it still gives us um we, you know, because tinsel is like horrible to treat and style and all that, but this one has that uh, sparkly, you know, um, yeah, fabric sort of like, um, yeah, finish. And then I also love the different colors. So we have a bleached blonde mixed up with that cotton candy pale pink, which I'm very much in love. And I don't think that these, specifically these colors because obviously most of the times we're not getting or none of the times really uh we're getting nylon hair for barbie um by mattel so it's it's, it's so different um when you compare the dolls and, and it's something new i appreciate it and then she comes with these two pigtails and the pigtails have been achieved using like a twist that that's wrapped around um, where the elastic is and these two tendrils on the front and none of the hair has um, any gel whatsoever which is amazing because it's just so incredibly soft and it doesn't feel as dry as the Barbie Extra because this is like giving us that Barbie Extra that came with the skipper face and with the cream hair it's obviously been inspired somehow by that one although she's giving also a uh, generation girl Tori <laughs> to me and uh, but the hair feels so much nicer I mean even though the other one came with saran hair um, it came super dry because it was crimped and this is just like super soft to the touch anyway I'll try to restyle the hair because I think I want to give her like um, down or lower uh, pigtails instead so we'll see about that but anyway I like it very much it's parted in the middle and all the way around and you can see how yeah it's nicely done I guess <laughs> and the length is very similar to that of the Barbie and and that of like Tori I would say and then when it comes to the face again I've grown to love this face quite a lot because of that um, other looks um, that I have in my collection and so it's super cool to have her with a different hair color um, this time around her lips are pink and there's like a gold shimmery eye makeup but it's quite minimal one thing I love are these earrings which are like very different to <laughs> any other like hoop um, take of an earring that we've seen before and it's like a, um, yeah it's half a hoop and it's super cool and of course they're not meant to be taken off the doll as easily but with a little bit of like heat you can do that and I will definitely be using these a lot and then she also comes with this cool necklace um, in silver which I like very much as well I don't like as much um, this piece but I love that we're given like an L for Lizzie because that's like making some statement <laughs> um, in between Defa Lucy and Barbie and so I love that and then she comes with these cardigan or this like um, aviator style jacket which a lot of the people is swearing by it and I don't quite understand as well as for this like you know back um, and I understand it's funny and it's cool and all that but the jacket isn't my favorite. I mean, it's made out of like a satin material and then we have the stamps um, that are very much like stickers. 
um, and very very predictable I would say I don't know we have the Illuminati eye right there we have the wow um, over there love a pair of lips then we have this racing um, checked board um, the diamond then we have a, an arrow <laughs> um, and it's cool I mean it has the faux uh, buttons but it is a line on the inside and it's rather thin probably this portion over here is like the best but I don't know, it's, it isn't like my style, like for sure, um, not really. Although, yeah, I mean, I can understand that it's giving Barbie extra vibes. And then this isn't as pleasing as I was thinking it would be, uh, to be honest. Although I have to admit that it's hilarious and it looks more like an inflatable <laughs> than a bag. And so, yeah, I don't know, that's um, the fun aspect of it. Um, of those leaves and it's obviously causing shame because you know it's giving more brats than Barbie but then it's supposed to give us Barbie and so yeah anyway so we have that and then we have this dress which again this dress with the shirt underneath is very much giving Generation Girl to me and in fact I think that Tori from Generation Girl for the party how, how was it called that series I think it was called the, I don't know, the, um, anyway, the party series, she came with a dress over a shirt and um, it's very 90s and then we have this cut over here that's quite revealing. Um, I don't think this dress can be worn on its own because it would be very, very revealing. And then I love that it says, love my life. I mean, that's such a statement, oops, um, that, these pieces I'm going to be reusing for sure. Then she comes with the same articulation as any other um, articulated Defa Lucy doll. And these boots that we've seen at least three other times by now, I think. Um, they're pearly, uh, white, and they're cool, but I really wish they were giving us more like uh, high heel options for Defa Lucy. Although for this outfit might work better than pumps uh, but anyway and the dress is made out of like, this material that is like very 90s to me that's why it's also like giving um a lot of like generation girl vibes and i think that from the back it's just plain jacket um but the door is beautiful like i really do love this face um with the hair combination of colors i mean that's superb and another thing is that it includes <laughs> um these shades and at first like in any other review i couldn't make up what the shape was but in fact you can see here that the shape is supposed to be like flowers i thought it was like pearls or something like that or like icicles i don't know uh, but those are flowers and then instead of like having painted lenses it has two stickers right i think yeah those are stickers in black um so yeah i mean it's giving luna from harry potter uh more than uh barbie extra or i don't know um but they're cool i mean they're they're cooler than i was expecting i, I just wish that the lenses were see-through if the lenses were see-through those would have been great um so anyway this has been the release um the release the review of this uh defa lucy extra doll I will definitely be taking some pictures with different, you know, uh, fashion pieces and all. But for now, this is what it is. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I am very much enjoying every single bit of the Defalusi dolls that I'm reviewing in this channel. And so if, if that's the case, don't forget to give me a like. Let me know what you think in the comments down below because I'm very, very interested to know what you think about uh, these souls, and I will definitely try to get back to all of you as well. For now, stay safe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.